<laughs> the Black Cowl Drone. Cowl Drone. Cowl Drone. Yeah. Here we are. Wow. This is. Yeah, hey, we're playing the Black Cauldron, everybody. We are. This is one of the lesser known. Oh, boy. Uh. <laughs> Sierra games from back in the day when they were doing license titles uh, before they could kind of just do what they wanted on their own. This movie was a dud. So I'm sure it, <laughs> <laughs> I'm but sure it was, it was Disney's 25th animated feature. I know, I know. And it, it, it almost killed the animation studio <laughs> entirely. This one film. Yeah. Um, so single-handedly responsible for almost ending <laughs> Walt Disney animation. I'm sure uh, it wasn't uh yeah, I'm sure it wasn't hard to get the rights is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is based on a book. It is. So, you know. It is. Uh, not really like I didn't know that, but here we are. A, a book I've read and a movie I've seen yet don't remember anything. <laughs> I can't even tell you either. if I've seen the movie. To be honest. But this is, like, there's no mistaking. This is a Sierra game. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, just the the sprites alone are, like, 100% King's Quest. Oh, yeah. For sure. The backgrounds. Taryn, it's time for you to feed our favorite pig, Henwin, says old Dalbin. Take good care of her. She is a very special animal. <laughs> So get, I get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> get the fuck off of my porch. I don't want to see your face no more, boy. What Go is our relationship? Wait a minute. I I need to actually get the stuff to feed the pig with. Who? I almost left the house <laughs> without <laughs> the pig's Who am of I to you? What are you to me? You carefully reach over the fire and take Henwen's pot of simmering gruel. I just are assumed we related? that that I am the uh, Gwydion to this guy's Mananum. <clears throat> GTFO! GTFO! <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, this is a unique Sierra game in in many ways. Uh, yeah, I mean, they also did Winnie the Pooh, which we haven't played and may not. I don't know. We got we, we um, got to play all of them. That's the yeah. that's the point. We should have probably play, played Winnie the Pooh for this one and saved this for before. Uh, Quest for Glory, but yeah, that's anyway, a good well. point. Yeah, uh, well, you open the gate and mess your way into the pig pen. Mess flip it into the pig pen. You flip around and do the thing. Hi, Henwen. You say, "You're my favorite pig. You are my <laughs> favorite pig. Burn. You are my favorite pig. You are the only pig that I am aware of, <laughs> and therefore you have my favorite status pinned upon you." By me. I need to pick an object to use. Okay. F3. So, <clears throat> yeah. There's no, this the, is not a text parser. Uh, yeah, the, the, you... inv the inventory system in this game is weird. Like, um, and, and this is something I kind of started talking about during um, Sardi Valley when it absolutely made no sense to be talking about it. But You um, feed the gruel to your hungry pig, hen when. Like, this could very easily have been a controller game and was also meant to be played with a joystick <clears throat> yeah and when certainly enjoys eating yes exactly but, but much more adeptly perhaps <gasps> oh hen when is trotting away then like a lot of other games perhaps of the, the same dog. era like uh like manhunter was also kind of one of those, like, please center your joystick before you begin playing. Type yeah, games. yeah, for sure. But this one, uh, what? Gone. Actually, like, makes you, well, it's like towards Dalvin's cabin, because they probably didn't want to, like, work out how to get the pig to open the door and shit. Um, but yeah, it's like all arrow keys and the F keys. That's, yeah. Look, something's wrong with Henwen. She's jumping in the fire. Bacon tonight, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> As Henwen places her snout in the water, she enters a trance. A vision appears above the bowl. <laughs> the hell? Oh! <laughs> oh! Dubbin, that guy's got a skull for a head and he's got horns in a hood. 
<laughs> and a pretty cool bunch. Is that feathers or fur? I don't even know. What's around his neck? <laughs> Terran, says Dobbin. You've never known about Henwen's magical powers. But unfortunately, the time has come for me to tell you. What do you mean, unfortunately? Yeah. Henwen like... <laughs> can show us things that happen in faraway places through her vision. She is now telling me a terrible tale. What, that guy just going back and forth? The Horned yeah. King is the most evil ruler in all of Predain. Is that how you say it? Prydain? Prydain? I don't even... Must be. One of the is other. searching for Henwen. He could force her to use her visions to reveal the location of the great Black Cauldron. We have a title. Yeah, name drop. If he finds the Black Cauldron, Cauldron. he will have <laughs> unspeakable power. Taran, you must take Henwen to the hidden cottage of the Fair Folk. They are our only hope to keep her from the Horned King. Okay, so gotta take the pig to a hidden cottage of the fair folk. Hidden cottage of the fair folk. Good luck, <laughs> Terran. Take this coil of rope and hurry before the Horned King's power becomes unstoppable. Um, okay, but Dobbin, what changed from yesterday? Yeah, seriously. Um... <laughs> You open the cupboard. This knapsack will hold just about anything you may find. Anything? I don't know. An apple! You take the apple. It certainly looks delicious. This looks like enough bread for three hundred meals. Three meals. Oh, Only three. goodness. Well, I mean, you know, if you really rationed it out. You could do it. The water flask is made of soft leather and chickens. The pig is offended. The pig is... N yes. The cupboard is bare, so you close it, leaving the old man with fucking nothing. Have a good uh, short no life, old man! Let's talk, talk to Delbin again. Oh, no. You can't do anything here. Goodbye, Terran, says Delbin. Hurry! Get Henwen to safety! But nobody... Okay. Yeah, next question. Uh, why is, is Henwen... Like, why is it imperative that we save the pigs? Like, I've like, got a feeling. I've uh -huh. got a feeling. Go on. That Henwen is going to be in way more danger mm -hmm. just going with us than she would have just stayed here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> most crazy. likely. Yeah. You fill your water flask with water. As one does. Okay. Yeah, no, she's she's going to be in way more danger. If we just put her in her little hut and just continued to live our lives, yeah, it wouldn't be very I mean, interesting, but she'd be safer. I mean, Henwen's whole deal, right, is like clairvoyance, I guess. The ability to see things in distant places. Yeah, she becomes I could see like how a, that would be useful to like a Dark Lord or whatever. Sure. But at the same time, like... I, I feel like there is probably more powerful things that the Dark Lord could be focusing on, if this probably. is really a problem. Probably. It seems like we're just going to take him her right to him, really. Yeah. You you discover a musical lute, as opposed to an unmusical lute, inside of a hole in this tree. You could always take the lute and run. Ha ha ha. You gonna steal it, Terran? Is that what you're gonna do? Of course I am. You take the loot and realize that it is slightly out of tune. It's a video game. <laughs> bum, 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 I mean, bum. like, steal everything that isn't locked down, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that that's like... <clears throat> it's the, definitely That's there. on the Daventry Royal Seal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take everything. Save often. There you go. <laughs> Exactly. The two. If there are two things I have learned from playing video games, steal everything, and make a lot of save points. Oh, can you lick those flowers on the ground? Can I lick the flower? I, like the sad thing is, I one small sad thing about this is that we can't experiment. Uh, experiment with a weird ass yeah. text parser. See you later, Henwen. You're yeah. fucked. Oh, whoa. Yeah. 
I'm I'm surprised they had the balls to do this as leading around animals in uh, the old Sierra games was a giant pain in the ass. And yeah. This is all this game is. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna say like Henwin is actually not too bad. No. She doesn't have that like distance thing. Like it it seemed like in some of like in King's Quest she like they they would follow at a distance and they would mm-hmm. mirror you. Yeah. And they would get stuck on things. It it would happen. We'll we'll see mm-hmm. it. It's got it. Does it have oh, yeah. a space quest? We'll we'll find out. Anyway, oh, also, I don't think there's case... a lot of follow things in space quest, except for no. like when you're in like Ulan's flats and stuff like that. So yeah. Also, in case you're wondering, yeah, Andrew is not joining us for this. He's not just yeah. He's not just there. being like really quiet tonight. He's just not with us today. So he's got a busy uh, December. So he has opted yeah. to uh, sit out this, and he'll be joining us again for when we. When we start Space Quest. But we've got this whole game ahead of us. We do. This whole thing. So there's supposed to be a secret passage thing that I have to go to. Really? Yeah. Is this the secret passage to the Fair Folk Cottage? I guess. You can't do anything here. There's nothing special to do here. You can't. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Hey. All right. I didn't actually have you... to press a button. I just had to press up. You emerge from the brambles into a clearing with a strange underground house. Why not? Why not? (laughs) You open the door, peek inside, and carefully enter the underground house. Henwen recognizes Gwistle as one of the fair folk and a long-ago visitor to Care Dalben. She's right. happy to see her old friend. I mean, sure. Why not? Yeah. I like that, that Dolben's shack is known as Care Dolben. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah. All right, then. So this is like the first of my many uh, companions. Um, is Is... Gwistel, a boy or a girl? She's an older lady, I believe. Oh, right. Uh, no, it's a he. It's a he. Oh, wait, mate. Right. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's just just wing it. it. It doesn't matter. I'll I'll be I'll be ambiguous. Welcome, Terran, says the fairy. Good. Perfect. I am Gwistel, one of the fair folk, and a friend of Dalbin. He told us to expect you, and asked us to hide Henwen from the Horned King. Congratulations. I mean, congratulations! <laughs> Your safely delivered head went to safety and successfully fulfilled Dalbin's request. That was game, a short game one. <laughs> but since you left Care Dalbin, the Horn King behaves even more fiendishly. What? That was like 15 minutes ago. Not even. Not even. It's like 10 My minutes king, ago. Aid. 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 Contacted Dalbin, seeking his help. Dalbin wants you to locate King Idleg and help him in whatever way you can. Since the fair folk are continually moving, I can't tell you where they are, but, but, I can tell you their magic password. Boom! <laughs> Use it wisely. Oh boom. boy. Boom! Are we gonna. Are we boom, gonna write ksuf. this down? Because no, we will remember it. It is boom, ksuf. I'm I'm gonna write this down. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is boom, ksuf. Not that I distrust your ability to remember random strings of letters, but uh, yeah. Good luck, Terran of Care Dalbin. Good luck, and may the things that I believe in be with you. <laughs> flies through the little door. That's like the the uh, least. Um, oh, come and when I'll keep you safe from the horned king. Safe. Jump in, in the fire, belly. <laughs> and when smiles goodbye as Gwistle takes it through his secret passage. That's passage. A, there you go. 
And that's just about all the time that we have for this episode of The Black Cauldron. I hope you enjoyed episode one of this. Yeah. We There's not going to be a whole lot of them. It is not a big game. Um, no. But it's actually really pretty. Like, I hadn't really spoken about it, but this is like on par with King's Quest 3 levels pretty. I'd it say. is. It's it's really nice. Uh, they works. definitely honed their craft at this point. Your throat oh, is fuck. dry. Oh, fuck. This oh, game no. has one of those. All right. Well, that's enough for now. Thank you. Join, join us next time. Thanks, when everybody. We, we Gurgi. I hope you're ready oh, for that. Spoilers. Let's see. <laughs>